first thing you want to do is make sure that the jars are clean. Now sometimes when you clean these jars there can sometimes be a little bit of waxy residue left over and the easiest way to get rid of this is to get nail polish remover and put it on a cotton bud and it should wipe that away. Next there are two things that you can use. You could maybe use some original artwork or you can take something like your favourite clippings from your favourite magazines or maybe you're doing this jar for all your eye makeup brushes. Well then you can rip out all the different eye makeup that you like and stick that on the jar or maybe for nail polish. So there's all these different things that you can stick on the jar. But if you're using something which is quite thick, quite a thick card like this, you want to bend it into shape first otherwise it's going to kind of curve at the edges and we don't want that. And we're going to use some glue and just cover the back. Press it down over the jar. Now you can just keep your hand there and the heat from your hand will help it dry a lot faster. But if you don't really have the patience for that, just get a few elastic bands and wrap it round and that will hold it into place while it dries. Once you've stuck them down we're going to be using nail varnish and you don't want to use your favourite brand of nail varnish because I went through an entire bottle using this so if you're using your favourite expensive brand you might just want to get a cheaper brand just for this because otherwise it will be a little bit heartbreaking and you just want to cover the entire thing and maybe decorate it a little bit more with a few nail varnish dots around it. If you're planning on doing the same thing but with magazine clippings you don't need to have so many steps you literally just need to hold down whatever kind of clipping you've cut out and cover it in nail varnish. You might want to put a little bit of nail varnish underneath the edges just so that it doesn't flick up but you won't need to put any kind of glue or anything like that first and if anything you want to avoid that because magazine paper is so thin it can sometimes make it buckle so just put a little bit of nail varnish around the edge and then cover the whole thing really generously and then it's just up to which pieces you stick down. And that's it, that's all you have to do, a really easy way to decorate your jars for brushes or art brushes.